This is the Music History Today podcast for August 16th. On today's show, the king and queen are dead, long live the king and queen, and the Ramones play at CBGB's. First off, though, on this date in 1957, the Everly Brothers recorded the song Wake Up Little Susie and Buddy Holly and the Crickets played at the Apollo Theater in Harlem, New York. In 1962, Ringo Starr became the drummer for the Beatles. In 1968, the Jackson 5 played their first official gig after signing with Motown Records. In 1968, same day, Frank Sinatra divorced actress Mia Farrow. In 1969, David Bowie played at a free music festival that was held in Buckingham, England. It was held on the same days as Woodstock, which is why no one really even talks about it. In 1969, same day, speaking of Woodstock, it was day two of the original Woodstock Music Festival. Richie Havens performed his song Freedom, which became one of the anthems of the late 1960s. Also in 1969, Crosby, Stills, and Nash played together for the first time, and the Supremes performed with the Jackson 5 in concert. In 1974, the Ramones played their first gig at the legendary CBGB's Rock Club in New York City. In 1975, Peter Gabriel left Genesis for a fairly decent solo career, I would say. Actually, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Duck D solo career. In 1980, Bill Ward left Black Sabbath and Jules Holland left Squeeze. In 1985, Madonna married actor Sean Penn. In 1986, drummer Rick Allen returned to Def Leppard a year after losing his arm in a car accident. In 1986, same day, Run DMC became the first hip-hop act to have a number one album on the R&B charts when their album Raising Hell hit the top spot. In 1996, over 50,000 fans at Yankee Stadium set the record in the Guinness Book of World Record for the largest group dance when they played the Macarena. Yeah, that was a thing back then. In 1996, Seal, Mary J. Blige, and John Bon Jovi performed at the concert event Sound and Vision, the Carlsberg Concert. And in 2003, the United States Postal Service put composer Henry Mancini on a stamp. In classical music in 1846, composer Giacchino Rossini married his wife Olympe Pellissier. And in 1876, the opera Siegfried debuted. In theater in 1975, the musical Rodgers and Hart closed on Broadway. Albums that were released on August 16th include in 1971 when the Rolling Stones released Gimme Shelter. In 1976, The Temptations released The Temptations Do The Temptations. In 1985, Miami Sound Machine released Primitive Love. Also on that same day, the Red Hot Chili Peppers released their album Freaky Styly. In 1987, Mayhem released Death Crush. In 1989, the Red Hot Chili Peppers released Mother's Milk, which became a huge album. And the Ethiopians released Dread Prophecy. In 1993, All released Breaking Things. In 1994, Neil Young and Crazy Horse released Sleep with Angels. Prince released Come. Crosby, Stills and Nash released After the Storm. And the Bare Naked Ladies released Maybe You Should Drive. In 1999, Tricky released Juxtapose, and in 2002, Frank Zappa released F-Z-O-Z, otherwise known as Frank Zappa Oz. Singles that were released in the UK on August 16th include in 1967 when the Beach Boys released Heroes and Villains, and in 1979, Paul McCartney and Wings released Getting Closer. Meanwhile, in America, in 1965, Paul Revere and the Raiders released Steppin' Out. In 1966, the Monkees released The Last Train to Clarksville. In 1973, B.W. Stevenson released My Maria. In 1977, Debbie Boone released You Light Up My Life, which became a huge song. In 1983, the Moody Blues released Blue World. In 1986, Eddie Money released Take Me Home Tonight. And in 1995, Janet Jackson released Runaway. 
Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 16th include singer, songwriter, entrepreneur, controversial everything, the legendary Madonna. Also, rapper Young Thug, rapper Bia, Jack Met of the group AJR, singer Sabrina Nicole Stewart, Emily Strayer of the group The Chicks, otherwise known as the Dixie Chicks, depending, singer Vanessa Carlton, and Bob Hardy of Franz Ferdinand, James J.T. Taylor of Cool and the Gang, Tim Ferriss of In Excess, Chris Peterson of Camper Van Beethoven, drummer Scott Ashton of The Stooges, Barry Hay of Golden Earring, Gordon Fleet of The Easy Beats, singer Gary Loyozo of American Breed, Kevin Ayers of Soft Machine, singer Barbara George, singer Ketty Lester, band leader Ernie Freeman, singer Edie Gourmet of the group Stephen Edie, the duo that is, Al Hibbler of Duke Ellington's Orchestra, Lee Beasley of the Florida Boys, singer Billy Joe Shaver, Banjoist Eric Weisberg, who played on the song Dueling Banjos from the movie Deliverance. Singer Sheila of Sheila and B. Devotion. Singer Grayson Chance. Pianist Joe Seeley. Bassist Matt Lucan of the group Mudhoney and also the Melvins. Singer Robert Squirrel Lester of the group The Shy Lights. Band leader Bill Evans. Guitarist and harmonica player Eddie Kirkland. Saxophonist Danny Moss. Pianist Mal Waldron, musician Howard Lucraft, jazz trombonist Murray McEachern, bluesman Melvin Little Son Jackson, and composer Carl Hoshna. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 16th include composer Pietro Sandoni, who passed away in 1748 at the age of 63. Violinist Henri Jacques de Croz passed away in 1786 at the age of 80. Harpsichordist Vincenzo Manfredini passed away in 1799 at the age of 61. Composer Edward Brendler passed away in 1831 at the age of 30. Composer Edmund Passy passed away in 1870 at the age of 80. Composer Charles Lenevieu passed away in 1910 at the age of 69. Composer Carl Munzinger passed away in 1911 at the age of 68. Composer Frank De Stucken passed away in 1929 at the age of 70. Blues pioneer Robert Johnson passed away when he was poisoned in 1911 at the age of 27. Violinist Roman Padluski passed away in 1944 at the age of 28. Composer Nico Richter passed away in 1945 at the age of 29. Composer Pedro Sarin passed away in 1959 at the age of 74. Harpsichordist Wanda Landowska passed away in 1959 at the age of 80. Composer Vasily Sharinsky passed away in 1965 at the age of 64. Pianist Luis Giannio passed away in 1968 at the age of 71. Composer John Chance passed away in 1972 at the age of 39. The king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, passed away from heart issues brought on by substance abuse in 1977 at the age of 42. Composer Yorgi Kosa passed away in 1984 at the age of 87. Songwriter John Hurley passed away in 1986 at the age of 45. Composer Milton Adolphus passed away in 1988 at the age of 75. Lyricist and radio broadcaster Wilfred Thomas passed away in 1991 at the age of 87. Musician Mark Hurd passed away from heart issues in 1992 at the age of 41. 
Robbie DeBarge of the group DeBarge passed away from AIDS in 1995 at the age of 36. Composer Miles Goodman passed away in 1996 at the age of 47. Musician Nusfrat Fateh Ali Khan passed away in 1997 at the age of 49. Alan Caddy of the group The Tornadoes passed away from alcoholism in 2000 at the age of 60. Keyboardist Andrew Jackman passed away from heart issues in 2003 at the age of 67. Bluegrass musician Vassar Clements passed away in 2005 at the age of 77. Singer Vicky Mosherlieu passed away in 2005 at the age of 62. Jazz drumming great Mr. Max Roach passed away in 2007 at the age of 83. Ronnie Drew of the group The Dubliners passed away in 2008 at the age of 73. Singer Dorval Kami passed away in 2008 at the age of 94. The Queen of Soul, Miss Aretha Franklin, passed away from cancer in 2018 at the age of 76. Singer and Dutch Royal Princess, Princess Christina, passed away in 2019 at the age of 72. A&M Records co-founder with Herb Albert, Mr. Jerry Moss, passed away in 2023 at the age of 88. And the opera director and singer with the Metropolitan Opera from 1965 to 1987, Renata Scotto, passed away in 2023 at the age of 89. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 17th, when in 1939, the musical film The Wizard of Oz held its premiere in New York City before opening worldwide a week later. 